Assalamu alaikum. Hola, como estas? Konnichiwa. What's up? How's it going, everybody? Uh, this is Majid with you, uh, doing another reaction video. And uh, tonight's reaction video is going to be on the new Dracula trailer called Renfield, starring Nicolas Cage. Is he good or bad? Still haven't figured it out. I mean, the man did win an Oscar. He won an Oscar for playing a white drunk person. I mean, couldn't be that hard to play, I guess, in uh, Leaving Las Vegas. But uh, yeah, I'm a horror fan, man. <clears throat> I'm a Dracula fan. I love vampire shit. And this film, this freaking trailer got 18 million views. 18 million. And has, I, has, I don't know if it's been released yet. So this is a huge deal. So I want to check this out. Uh, I hope it reaches our expectations. I mean, when it comes to trailers, I mean... You know, I, I, I used to work for television. I used to work for a cable network known as Orbit Showtime. And my job was to create kick-ass trailers for our video, for our television content. You know, and I was a master at taking a shitty film and creating a fantastic 30 to 45 second commercial. The real challenge is when you're given a fantastic film and trying to make that look better. One of my first projects was Pulp Fiction. I mean, how am I going to make Pulp Fiction look awesome? It's already awesome. So it was kind of hard, but still, I managed to do it. I used to win awards, man. I was really good at making promos. So anyway, enough of that shit. Let's get down to this trailer and see how good it actually is. All right, here we go. Mr. Renfield, welcome. Dracula. Okay. Make a very good assistant. No, he's evil. We will protect you. You have the word of the most trusted institution on earth, the Catholic Church. <laughs> there you go. You won't fuck another kid again. None. Your sole purpose in life is to serve me. Ah, oh, poor Renfield. Let's see. Again. Well, he's got eternal life. Ooh, he's got superpowers. Renfield's got superpowers. God bless you, Mr. Renfield. Oh, God bless you, nuns. You're a hero. Well, Montague Renfield. <laughs> he looks familiar. I work for Dracula. Is that about a boy? Is that, is that the Aquafina chick? So you bring them people to eat? Well, I do other stuff. Like what? Wash his cape? No, the cape is dry clean only, strictly. Yeah, I will wear this this fly, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, April. You're a bad guy, but you're never really going to be free until you face him. That's that rapping chick. I tolerate abuse. <laughs> I deserve happiness. Please, please, Henry Dick. You deserve only suffering. I will unleash an army of death. Everyone you care about will suffer because you betrayed me. We have to stop him before sunset. No, it looks like he's got some kick ass action. I am enough. I deserve happiness. And I take full charge of my life. Ooh. Damn. <laughs> you know when something crazy happens and someone's like, it's okay, I've seen way worse. Everything I saw you do today is going to be my way worse. It's my least favorite part of the job. Renfield, you have betrayed me. Well, that was from Bram Stoker's Dracula. Uh, because he does betray Dracula and Dracula kills him. Okay, this is a different perspective. All right, all right. Can't tell whether it's really great or not. I mean, the trailer's okay. The trailer's pretty cool. I mean, I like Nick Cage. That that kid, that kid, what's his name? Um, He was in About a Boy with Hugh Grant. My God, how they grow up so fast. And that rapping chick, I forgot her name, Aquafina or something. I don't know. She's named after a water bottle or something. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um... Ah, uh, I'll wait for it to come out on live streaming. I wouldn't waste my money on that shit. I'll wait for what IMDb gives it as a rating. If it's 
7.8, I'll watch it in the theaters. Anything less than that, then it's totally not worth it. Um, all right, well, that's my take on it. I mean, I love Dracula films, and this is definitely a different kind of take on it. But uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think it's worth watching in the movie theater? I mean, they didn't show much of Nick Cage, except, you know, I mean, except making him look whiter than he normally does. Uh, the effects of his uh, the fangs and shit like that that's pretty cool and the slashing he was killing people left and right with every blow you just see blood pissing out so we've got a little Tarantino action here so yeah yeah uh, I'm definitely intrigued I am intrigued and definitely probably worth watching anyway guys uh, thanks for sticking around watching my reaction don't know if it's the reaction you were looking for, but it's still a reaction. And uh, until next time, guys, peace out.